Hi guys, Terry here. I wanted to show you today why you need a brother scan and cut. So I recently got this uh, Photoplay Gnome stamp set. Um, I did not buy the dies with it and I want to show you how I stamp these and then cut them out with my brother scan and cut. I just love how it works. So I decided I wanted to use these stamps to make some Christmas tags. I'm actually going to label our um, stockings with these and they are the cutest. I don't know if I'm going to color them or not or leave them plain, uh, but for now I'm going to stamp them with black onyx um, versifying ink. I love that ink. That pad is just so burn nice and juicy and um, I find that it lets the embossing powder stick to it. So here I am stamping them. Here's the VersaFine. Love this ink. You probably could use um, VersaMark also. Um, I just want this to be, I, I usually use uh, either clear embossing powder or white embossing powder. So since I don't have black embossing powder, I'm just using this black ink. And I find that the embossing powder sticks to it. So I'm using my Misty. That lets me re-stamp it if I miss any spots. But the VersaFine ink is just so nice. I rarely have to re-ink it. Um, it also, the Misty also allows me to um, stamp the other side of this piece of paper. I can just turn it around and my stamps are all ready to go to cut out or to ink um, three more of the gnomes. So here I am putting on the uh, white, or not white, clear embossing powder. And I've got it in a little uh, tray with a spoon so that I can frequently use it. Um, they also make a tray that you can do this over, pour it out of the little can and pour it into the tray and then the tray will allow you to pour it back into the jar. But for clear and white, I use these little Tupperware trays. So here I am using the um, heat gun. I got it hot before I put it to the paper so I don't burn it. And it is melting that embossing powder. These little gnomes are just adorable. The stamp sets by Photoplay. And there I've, in, I've uh, heated the embossing powder. So now I'm going to scan them. So this is me using the Brother Scan and Cut. I'm loading the mat. Here I realize it's going to hit some stuff in the back of the desk. So I pull it out away from the wall, give it plenty of room. <laughs> you don't realize how long that mat is. And then here I'll show you how, how it uh, recognized the shapes. So I'm just using the little scan and cut tool to tell it what to um, what I want to use on the mat there and I just want to recognize the gnomes. So it takes it a second to recognize it. It has a scanner built in so it is looking at the shapes and you just hit OK. There is a little uh, circle on there that says um, how far away you want the blade to cut it from the shape. So I did a 0.04 and then I'm simply going to tell it to cut. I've got my blade. This paper that I'm using is um, Nina Solar White that is 110 pounds. So it's pretty thick. It's very thick. And um, I had to put the blade on a 5. Uh, my blade might be dull. I had to put it on a 5 just to make sure it went through that paper. You can also do a test cut. Um, but this worked well and here it's going around these little shapes fussing cutting it. You can see how quick it is. I left this, I uh, didn't speed this up. This is how fast it's cutting them. There you can see that I had done six of the gnomes. So then let me show you what these look like. Like I said you can tell it what distance to cut. I did it at the .04 and that seems to make it look like what um, what a die would do. 
So I saved the money on not having to buy the dies. And I also think that this scan and cut is very quick. I could have colored these before I cut them. But just look at the detail there where it cut all around those little ornaments on his hat. So here I am simply doing a hole punch. And then I'm going to put some twine through them so I can tie them onto the stockings. I just can't say enough about the Brother Scan and Cut. There's um, a newer model. It's called a DX. Um, mine is the 650. Um, I really recommend to people that you can get um, get the original one or the 350. Um, don't spend more than um, don't spend more than $300 for it. I've seen them listed for as high as $549. Um, but you really, you should be able to find them for around three, three fifty. Um, the newer machine is quieter, um, but I, I don't think it's that noisy. Um, the newer one, you also don't have to um, tell it what depth the blade will auto adjust to the paper. But again, I, I don't find it an annoyance to adjust the blade. So get the cheaper Brother Scan and Cut. It works great. And here they are on the stockings. So thanks everyone. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to get to a thousand. And thank you.